Las Palmas. We're back with our Chad Ricardo here, and we're talking about local sports teams yeah. and their college fan bases. And their fan bases. <laughs> Which is, uh, this is quite a heated topic. So Barstool's DMV posting uh -huh. ranking of all these fan bases right here in the DMV. And not the team, just the fans. Just the fans. Yeah, so here we go. Here's the top tier. You're looking at it. Maryland, Howard, Navy, and James Madison University, followed by Virginia Tech, Virginia, Christopher Newport, Newport and ODU. Then you have uh, William and Mary, along with George Washington, Liberty, and West Virginia. They've got a respectable position, but the lower we get, the oh, more man. fan bases there are, from Towson to VCU to American. They're all a little lower. And then the last tier of schools like Georgetown. Yeah, we were just talking about the Hoyas. Morgan State. Don't you say nothing about Morgan State and the fans. <laughs> Listen, I didn't do the ranking and VMI. But, I mean, it's clear here that on top is Maryland. That's right. And, I mean, that makes sense. Of course. And there's a reason for that. I was just looking. The NCAA put out a listing of sure. the rudest fans. Okay. Maryland University of Maryland. Across the country, Maryland ranks six because they heckle, use profanity, and they start fights. <laughs> well, look, it, we'll, we'll go a step I further. I call that pride. Good you know? old college pride. I call that pride. Back when the University of Maryland was huge rivals with Duke, there were reports of incidents of them throwing bottles at, at not only players, but at the players' families <laughs> out there as well. So the University of Maryland, the students, they can get lit and they can bring a great crowd, but they can also be a little violent. I want to show uh, a lot of love to, first of all, my alma mater, JMU, who is at the top of that list. Okay. Also, Howard University. We talked about that basketball yes, program and everything. Everything that they did with making it back to the NCAA tournament and all the love that that brings in. When the bird gets rocking out there on the basketball court, there's no experience like it. But Joe, your squad right down there at the absolute bottom, joined <laughs> by Coach Ed Cooley's and, Georgetown and here, Hoyer. And here's what I'll say to that: Come DM, on. DMV Boston yeah, don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they don't. What part of the DMV are they from? Because they don't know what they're talking about. Well, the good news, the good news for the Bears is that they have a new head coach coming in with the football program. Okay. He is going to have this football program up and running. When football programs go, the entire school gets excited. So the Bears are going to be better. Coach Cooley is now, going to get Georgetown rolling as well. Of course, Virginia Tech, UVA, Maryland, they are right where you well, are. Now, now, I need to say something about the fan base. I was the school mascot for a semester. You better get out of I was. I, I had, bet you better. I needed a PE credit, uh -huh. and I was like, I don't want to take PE, Joe. so I, I was the Bear. Joe. And I think I'll go back and be the Bear again because we need to get our rankings Joe, up. Joe, Joe maybe. Maybe to get your rankings no, up, you need to be the mascot again. Oh, wait, Haley. Maybe that's the way you get your ranking up by being the mascot again. Maybe yeah, you need I think to go I back. Put the bear suit back on. I don't have a problem with that. I, I hate to see it. I do not have a problem with that. He's going to show, you, you know, show, show, show me a bear move. What you no, going to do? No, I'm not showing you. Uh, yeah, wait, wait till I go talk okay. to my Was president like of my cheer? school. No, I didn't do cheers, Marina. Uh, Cut it. So you didn't oh, do splits. So you didn't cheer. I didn't do splits. I didn't do none of that. All they had to do was put a go-go record on, and it was on. I had the stadium on lock. You beat your feet. You hear me? Everywhere I went. Now, I did get chased down Georgia Avenue one time after we beat Howard at a game. Oh, oh, they, oh they chased me. Was that the only time you beat Howard? No. Oh, man. What is, Marina, you want to stop all this? Boy, you sure do be throwing these little little darts in. But my Morgan State I folks mean, listen, won't come well, Howard's number one on that list or number two really for a reason. For a reason. Just, only because they reason. ask. They, the survey was done on Georgia Avenue. That's what it was. They that, did the survey exactly on Georgia they Avenue. They weren't in Prince George's County. That, exactly. Were. Exactly. Go a little further up to Howard County. Navy Avenue. also has an incredible showing when they come out on Saturday. They do. All yes, of the pageantry, do. everything uh, with all of the cadets and everything else, that is an outstanding outcome. Atmosphere, it's one that I really enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Out in Beautiful. Annapolis. All right, so what are people saying? Are they agreeing with you on the Morgan yeah, let's State? Yeah, let's, let's go talk to the people on the streets. Here's what they had to say. They didn't say anything about Morgan State. <laughs> Y'all check it out. <laughs> Do you have a local college team that you root for? Georgetown. Georgetown is your team. Now, they haven't been. They've been slumming. Is, is that because of, you know, back in the day? Back in the days, Ala Iverson, Patrick Ewan, Matumbo, and everybody else. Uh huh. Yeah. But recently, you said they've been. Slumming. Yeah, they, they've been they've been slumming a bit. Your fan base, the, the cats that you roll with for okay. George, now y'all getting the F right. Oh now. man, that's terrible, man. That's terrible. Nittany Lions. The Nittany yeah. Lions. So no nobody local. Uh Maryland a little bit. Okay, Maryland, you get an A, sir. Terrapins. Okay, football or basketball? Both. Okay. 
All right, the judge, according to this survey, mm, 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 what's your name? Gina. Mm, Gina. Nurse Gina. Uh-uh, Gina. Well, according, wait, it's her birthday. So according her to birthday. this survey, Gina, you are actually a super fan. Hi. Whoa. Yes, look, look, look at you got your fan. You got you guys' fan base is the number one, is the best. Wow. You That's got, excellent. Well, I do root for Georgetown. I just haven't had much root for lately. We, okay, we we talked to a brother earlier who roots for Georgetown. Is that it? And we, the question I ask is that because of the past? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was here during the Thompson years, you know, uh -huh. Ewing years as a player. So, so, so now when Georgetown comes on your TV, <laughs> what do I, you I do? I haven't watched in a long, in a while because it's been it's been difficult. Do you have a college team, a local college team that you root for, DC, Maryland, or Virginia? Uh, I gotta say Georgetown. Okay, you are my third Georgetown guy today. Oh, now, oh, judging by what Boston Sports says, you guys are some of the worst fans ever. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. Look, you get an F. They give you an F. You down here in the, in the F category. We loyal, though. It's all about that loyalty. They're so loyal, they, they go back to the 80s. The <laughs> you see, did you see how many people said Georgetown? So this new coach better come in here and get to work. Meanwhile, I'm going up to Morgan State to apply for this mascot, <laughs> uh, this thing. Yeah.